Hey guys, all out War 76 here, bringing you another video for uh, Miss Survival. I'm gonna be doing a bunch of crafting here. Um, I really want to get this workbench done. Um, I don't have the materials that I need for a lot of this stuff, so I'm gonna do a lot of farming. But um, I'm gonna fade in between clips. That way, I don't bore you. So to make this uh, stump first for uh, chopping firewood. Um, what I really want to do is get that workbench done, but I need a saw, and I don't have a saw, so I am going to go farm for that. And even though I said I won't be showing much farming in this series, I'm just showing this one place because um, it's a really good place to go. You're going to hit it on the way there. You don't necessarily have to go in it on the way there, but um, if I did, I would have had to come back because there is a workbench in here, and I completely forgot about that. But we did pass this place in the first video, so if you're unsure how to get there, just watch that video. But I'm pretty sure you have to uh, go past this. If you take that way that I showed you, the road, the main road, you're going to go past this area anyway. Okay, so... um. Found an axe here, there's an engine here, battery here. I don't know if they're always here, but they were here both times that I have uh, came here. So I'm gonna wind up crafting uh, the saw, which I need, and I'm gonna craft the crowbar too, since I'm here. And now for the crowbar. And the last thing I just wanted to show you, I know we spoke about this in the previous video, but uh, one thing you want to do, um, if you can, is take these suitcases with you. They provide storage and they help you carry extra when you're full. So you just put all the stuff in there and then run with it. So once again, um, that was the garage area. Um, it's on the main road. And it's uh, going, it, it's right near the White House where um, I said was the best place to make your base. So we're almost finished with that bench. Um, I just got to craft some more planks and now I can actually do it because I have the saw. And the audio quality I'm hoping is better. Um, for some reason in the last video it defaulted to my um, webcam microphone for some reason so I went ahead and disabled that. So this is like the workbench here. Some of the things you can make. Um, the reason why you see the lock sign on the lock pick and the animal trap is because you need to uh, upgrade. And to upgrade it takes 10 planks, 6 of the metal scraps, and 2 gears. So one of the next things I want to focus on is making that blacksmith so we can make gears. And in this video, I'm going to complete these three, the water barrel, the, the water distiller, and um, water purifier, and uh, the distiller. I mean the still. <laughs> the, moon's, uh, the moonshine still. So it's going to take me a few tries. You'll see it fading in and out. I'm gathering materials. Um, I don't want to clog up the video with uh, just boring gathering. But we're going to get that done. I'm going to show you how um, the water distiller works. Or water purifier, whatever it's called. So we get the mist here. I'm going to go in and uh, wait that out. So for the firewood, you're going to want to use that stump. Alright, so the purifier is done. Um, you're going to put in your water containers. And then um, you're going to press give. Well, you're going to hit that up arrow over there. 
um, to show how many leaders that you want. But we'll go into that in a bit. I'm just going to do a bit more crafting here. And now I'm going to place down the, the blacksmith. I, mean, I did it in the first video, but I had to remove it because I was able to get some uh, items that fell. I'm going to place this down and work on this too. I will get this done in this video as well. And I'm also going to get uh, the tanning rack done and the grill. Um, and almost the cooking pot. I think I'm going to need like one or two uh, lashings for that. But I don't believe I uh, complete that in this video. Alright, so it's getting dark. Um, I'm going to head in, uh, sleep, and then cut back in. It's morning time now. So I'm going to have to gather a bunch of stones, as you can see. I'm going to need 20 for that, and um, I think I need some more for uh, the moonshine still. Also going to need a few more nails. So after this, all that's going to be left are the stones. Oh, wait, and the components. So that's done. I'm going to need 20 stones. I'm going to go gather those as well. And uh, we're going to finish up this still right here. Okay, that's it for the blacksmith place. You have a forge and an anvil. Uh, the forge is where you're going to melt your um, metal, your scrap metal. Then it'll turn into ingots. And the anvil is where you craft. You can make a combat knife, the American eagle. You can make an axe. You can make a pickaxe and a hammer. The pickaxe you can't use in game yet. Um, the arrowhead and the gears. So I'm happy to have that done. Let me see what I mean. That was, what did it say, four and a half hours, I think it said? Um, so that's game time passes, even though it goes by quickly while you're playing. Um, you can see in the top left the uh, the time. So crafting does take a long time. Um, once you get the uh, followers, you can assign them to crafting duty, so you can go ahead and keep farming and do whatever you want. But yeah, it's already dark again, so we're going to finish up this barrel, um, head in for the night, and continue again.
All right, so now these are all done. Um, the last things that I'm going to craft is uh, the tanning rack. Um, what else am I going to make? The grill. But I'm going to make some buckets uh, right now. So I can go grab some water and show you how the purifier works. So all you need is two. Um, two is actually more than enough. Um, I believe they hold 10 liters each. And uh, the purifier only holds 16 liters. So it's overkill uh, with two buckets. So now to fill the buckets, you're just going to have to find some water. Um, there are little lakes all around the map. So they're not too hard to find. And if you choose this place as a base camp, you're going to see the water's not far at all. So you're going to have to get into the water and press V. It's going to open up a menu. Um, you drag your bucket over to the water container and you fill them up. So after we get the second one done, we're just going to head back and we'll show you how that works. It does take a while to purify the water, so um, you're not going to see it come out. But they do come out in full like plastic bottles. I don't know how that happens Some video game magic, but they're automatically bottled for you. Um, and this will be the end of your water problems. Because even if you're all the way dehydrated, um, you won't even drink a full bottle. If you choose drink until done or drink until enough, I forget the exact option. So we're going to go ahead and get what we need. We need um, bark. We need matches. Um, can't remember off the top of my head what's the other thing we need. Oh, firewood. And I don't have enough firewood, so I'm going to have to uh, make some firewood for it. But you can't place it into uh, the purifier. It actually has to be in your inventory. So make that firewood real quick, and we will be set. So you just hit the up arrows. I'm going up to six because that's the max right there. And then that's it. You're just going to hit the still. And then you wait for your water. Um, it'll go down in the slots. You see those four slots at the bottom. And um, the extra bottles will just fall on the ground. So I'm going to finish this drying rack and that grill and most of the, the cooking pot. So uh, next video, um, that house that you saw on my left when I was running towards the water, I'm going to go in there and uh, take out a couple of zombies. I'll show you that. Um, but I, I want to get a lot of this crafting done. And uh, show you guys like everything that you can make. I don't know if I'm going to do everything. Um, I'm probably not going to do the uh, wood machine for a while and the generator. But I might put a get together a little montage or something of like fighting zombies and bandits. And that's the grill right there. And I don't have enough for uh, the cooking pot, so that'll be uh, taken care of a little later. I'm also going to do some organizing. I'm going to put a lot of this stuff into the garage so it's a little uh, better organized and not all over the place. I'm going to make some um, uh, lockers as well. So I do need some branches, and the reason why I'm showing this is um, you don't just have to find them off the ground like this. 
You go up to these like little small trees. You don't want to shoot them. Uh, you just chop them, and it's an easy way to get branches. So in case you didn't know that, I figured, uh, you know, I just put this part in there. And even though I have more than enough, I'm just getting those off the road. It seems like anything you hit in your car does damage to the internal components, which makes zero sense. I'm hoping uh, they change that in the future. All right, so that's about it for the rest of this video. I'm gonna finish making, well not finish, I'm gonna make as much as I can of that cooking pot. Um, and uh, I'm gonna do a little bit more crafting in the next one, um, maybe fight some zombies. All right guys, hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Take care.